All right, boys, so haven't picked up the camera in a few days. The house is green now, so that's pretty cool. But I finally got something in the mail, and I've been wanting to install one of these on the car for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box, show it to you guys. All right, boys, so this is the Cervini's Type 2 chin spoiler. Basically, this is gonna go on the front of this car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of test fitting real quick, but then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. So this will be the first time I've ever painted like a big body panel. I'm pretty sure I know how to do it and it'll be pretty close to this color. And worst case scenario, if it ends up looking like crap, I might just take it to a body shop and have them paint it for me, but I should be able to do it. All right, so I just spent a little bit of time reading the directions, so what you do, is there's these four holes right here on the kind of underside of the splitter. So those ones use the factory hardware. So this will basically go up underneath the bumper and then you'll run the stock screws through these. But then there's these small kind of pilot holes. There's three in the middle and then there's two on both sides. And those ones will use the provided hardware and sure enough, there's seven included screws. Hopefully I don't mess things up, but I'm definitely gonna put in the ones that already have the pre-drilled holes first, and then I'll do the three screws that need to drill into the bumper last. A few moments later. Okay, so before we go any further with the project, I figured that I should test to see if I can back out of the driveway with the splitter on the front of the car because it's super low as is and I'm worried that if I'm going to go ahead and paint it, then I'm going to put it on the car and then when I back out, I'm going to scratch the fresh paint immediately. So we're just going to go ahead and test it while it's unpainted and just kind of roughly on the car. <laughs> of an inch. Yeah. Now you're good. Really? Yep. It didn't scrape. Didn't scrape. Alright boys, so a little update. We're headed up to the backyard to paint in my dad's shop. He's just recently built this little mini hut thing back here. I've got some painter's plastic. This is hurting my arm. <laughs> Ow. Oh, okay, so this is the shop space we're gonna be painting in. Obviously there's tools and whatnot, so we're gonna have to put some plastic up on the walls. I'm also gonna have to figure out a way to hang the, um, the splitter, probably from the ceiling somewhere. There we go. All right, boys, so I got the, uh, the splitter hung up here. Now before I start putting primer on it, I'm actually gonna wipe it down with a microfiber towel, and I'm gonna use this denatured alcohol to help get all the little bits of dust and everything off so that it's perfectly clean. That way when I put the primer on, the coat is super pure, and I don't have to go back over it. All right, so I've got the whole thing wiped down. It's super clean now, so. With everything else out of the way, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to put the primer on. Now, I don't have a mask on or a respirator because I don't have a ventilated area with airflow and whatnot, so I'm just gonna make sure that I keep the door open. And that's not the perfect way to do paint, but there's no wind right now. And if it starts, if the wind starts to blow, I can always stop and close the door just to make sure that I minimize any sort of imperfections. I know it's not perfect, but it's the best I can do. the next day all right boys so it's currently the next day and you might be wondering why this is white because the primer I was using last night was clearly gray so what happened was that primer I'm pretty sure wasn't specific for plastic I'm not exactly sure why but the primer I was using last night wasn't sticking onto here very well and then when I went to put the paint onto the the splitter itself um, the paint was kind of just coming off and it wasn't sticking on it, it was just taking the primer with it. So I think that the primer that I was using wasn't really good with the plastic. Either that or the paint I was using just sucked. So I didn't really record anything extra last night because 
I felt like I was just gonna keep showing the same thing over and over again, but last night I went to the store, I picked up some better primer. This one's like a universal primer, and it's white, so <laughs> that explains why this is not gray anymore, but this primer seems to be sticking a lot better, and I got some higher quality paint too, so I want this to come out looking pretty nice, and I think it's worth putting in a little bit of extra work if it's gonna look a lot better in the end. But anyway, I've got the primer on here completely, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mask off the, um, the main section and I'm gonna paint these parts black, and then once these are black, then I'll mask them, and then I'll paint the whole thing gray, and then I'll just continue on with the process. Okay, so I've got all the masking done. That took quite a while, it was kind of a pain, but it wasn't too bad. The most tedious part was going around these little pillars here, but once I got that all done, the rest of it went pretty quickly. So I went over to the store and I picked up some of this perfect match black paint. It doesn't have to be like a perfect match because this is going on the front splitter, but it's just like a small black accent. I want this line here that goes all the way around these pillars. I want that to be black. And so I don't really care. Like this is on the underside of the bumper, so you're not going to see this. So I don't really care if there's black overspray on that. I'll probably just spray over it gray or something. But I'm just going to go ahead and paint all the way around this with black. Then I'll let that dry. Do another coat probably. And then once all that is done, then I'll take the masking off, mask over the black part, and paint the rest of it to match the car. All right, so the black paint is still drying, but before it dries all the way, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the, um, the tape off, so that way the lines come out really clean, because if you let it dry all the way, it can kind of chip the lines a little bit, and I wanna make sure that it's a super smooth line. Alright, so I got all the masking taken off, and unfortunately there's a couple spots where the paint was able to seep down underneath the tape. I should have done a better job of sticking it, but it's not the end of the world because once this black paint is completely done curing and drying, I'm gonna mask along this line and then this will become gray. So the line will turn out okay, so just because it's not perfect on the first coat doesn't mean that I need to completely start over. All right, so I'm trying to get through this as quickly as I can because I just know from watching a lot of YouTube videos that painting videos are kind of my least favorite type of videos. So I hope this hasn't been like super boring for you guys. Um, I just finished the second coat of the gray, so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. But before I let it finish drying, I'm gonna go ahead and take the masking off for the black so that way I can get a nice clean line between the gray and the black. It's not like a super huge deal because it's gonna be pretty much entirely covered by the bumper, but it's just one of those things that I'm gonna know that it's there, so I wanna just make sure that it looks good. Six and a half hours later. All right, boys, a little bit of time has passed, but we're gonna go ahead and put the clear coat on. I'm a little bit worried that this color isn't gonna match perfectly, so I, like I said in the beginning of the video, worst case scenario, I'll just take it somewhere and have them paint it for me when I fix all the rest of the paint on the car, but I just wanna be able to drive it around, you know? And I need it to match at least somewhat. approximately 10 hours later. All right, boys, so this is the third day 
of this project process. I finally got all the paint on the splitter and I've got it out here in front of the car. So I want to go ahead and give you guys a uh, look of how it came out. It wasn't 100% perfect, but I think it's pretty good. All right, so here's the front splitter. When I was inside the shop, I was a little bit worried that this gray wasn't going to match the gray of the car. But now that I have it next to it, like it's really, really close. This one seems to have a little bit more sparkle in it than this paint does, but this paint is also 15 years old. So this paint being in the condition that it's in, I'm not really upset about this little difference like at all. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this up to the car and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with the splitter on there. Oh boy. <laughs> That looks sick. I was a little bit worried that this spoiler was gonna look kind of funky. It's not like a super popular option. It's the Cervini's Type 2 chin spoiler, so it's not like the most used one, but I kind of didn't like how bulky all the other ones were. Like the other ones kind of just make the front of the car look like a freaking train, in my opinion. Just got that like angle down, and I kind of wanted something a little bit more sleek. And I am eventually gonna add a front splitter to come off the bottom of this, so like that will be a very thin splitter, you know? I mean, I won't say too much, but that's just like a future plan as for right now i think that looks so awesome and it really just brings down the front bumper because one of the things about these three valve mustangs is that like they look good but these bumpers especially the front end on just like the pretty much base model ones even the gts like they just kind of don't i don't know they look a little bit incomplete it looks like there's something missing there just from the factory on the left and right side there's kind of like this section that goes down and then in the middle it's just like empty and that's part of the reason why I painted part of this black is so that like these pillars on the stock parts of the grill kind of come down and then they line up with these parts that are now underneath there and so it gives it like a an extension vibe I think that looks super nice also for those of you that watched the last video you'll know that I went and bought some vinyl from Tyler so I'm sure you can now figure out why I needed this vinyl I'm gonna go ahead and extend the stripes from the car down onto the splitter this isn't cut to the exact width so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of measuring but I don't need to put that much vinyl on the car it's pretty much done now so we're just gonna do another quick little edit and then I'll see you guys when it's done boys so that is the completed look I still need to use an exacto knife to kind of trim out the insides a little bit because if you look from the top down you can kind of see that the stripes kind of bow inward a little bit and that's kind of just an optical illusion from well I mean it's not an optical illusion that actually is happening one thing I've learned from working with vinyl and failing miserably at working with vinyl is that on curved pieces they tend to kind of bend inward and when you're up close it can be kind of hard to tell but when you take a step back it's a little more clear so what I'm gonna do is I'll use an exacto knife and just trim little slivers out from the inside until it looks like a perfect straight line but that's just kind of tedious work I'm not gonna include that in the video you know we gotta get my dad's reaction to it too because I'm actually moving out pretty soon and so I won't be able to get my dad's reactions in person to all these things I'll have to come back up here and make a video of all the different mods and see what he thinks are you gonna call me a staple again you called yourself a staple you said it you're the one that took it out of context <laughs> check it out oh Hey, nice job. That looks cool, man. It's not perfect. I need to take an X-Acto knife and kind of straighten out the lines in the middle a little bit because they're kind of bowing inward. It just kind of tends to happen when well, you put vinyl the, on a curved surface. Yeah, so. they, it, it fans out, so I mean. They're not 100%, but they're like 99%. But it looks really good, though. And the color match is real nice. Nice work, Cade. I mean, what, a couple of days? Even? Three days. Yeah. This is day three, so like two and a half days. Heck yeah. So worth it. Good. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Go slow out of the driveway. All right, so I've come back to the OG spot, the place where I always get my pictures. I want to come get the first look at this thing kind of out in the wild. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> That looks so sick. The reason why I had to come get some pictures is because my buddy on Instagram, that 150, he kind of called me out today. He, he's having me do a challenge called the no filter challenge. So I got to post a picture of the Stang on the story. So I figured I'd wait until I got this new chin spoiler on here. I'm trying to see if he'll, he'll DM me back. I said, hey, I'm putting you in the next video. Say what's up. So we're waiting on a response from him, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and get some pictures and then hopefully he'll respond soon. Okay boys, so everything that you would have just watched was actually recorded about a week ago. This last week I bought a new laptop for school and for editing these videos, but it's a MacBook and so like I kind of needed to learn <laughs> how to edit videos on the Mac so they kind of took me a couple extra days to really figure everything out. I also took a midterm for my calculus class last week after I finished painting the bumper and I kind of thought that the bumper might only take one or two days but it actually ended up taking the third day and when that happened I kind of didn't have time to edit and so then everything got pushed back to this week but as always I'm doing my best to keep these videos coming out so if you like today's video be sure to leave a like down below consider subscribing for more car content and as always peace out and dream big